I want to share a verse from the Quran, right? The whole point that we are here with is to understand why and how it is that we should raise children. But the beautiful thing is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Fat, He gives us a beautiful parable on how to do that. He gives us a beautiful parable on how to do that. He says that the young, the Muslim, right, or a child is kazarin. It's like a seed. Akhraju shat'a. From it buds a sprout. And then fa'azara. And then after the sprout, it comes, it starts to get support. It starts to, you know, get aided. It starts to get helped out. And after that, فَاسْتَغْلَدَ It starts to become strong. It starts to become, you know, it starts to grow a base. And then فَاسْتَوَى عَلَى سُوقِ And then it is able to stand on its own. And that's the vision we have at Nuzark, right? That's how we rate. <laughs> we raise these Muslim children ta'ala, starting from that seed and going from that from the ground up, working from the bottom bottom up, inshaAllah bi idnanahi wa ta'ala. So a few things about news arc. First, who are we? Who are we? What is news arc? So alhamdulillah. News Arc is a home-based school based out of San Ramon, California. And the vision for News Arc, the reason News Arc came to fruition was it existed, it came about in 2019. And the idea was that there was a mirage, there was a huge influx of negative influences that we find you know, around us today. And especially during the developmental stages of our children. So the idea of News Arc was to be that safe haven. Just like how the Ark of Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam was the safe haven for his for his very few followers. So I know we don't have time for the Munir, so uh, you know I'm gonna be going as fast as I can. But um, first the vision, right? The vision. What is it that we hope to achieve at News Arc? So the vision is quite simple, right? It is that we are able to guide little hearts to flourish as bright beacons of Islamic values and knowledge. And at News Arc, alhamdulillah, we serve the very young children. We start serve from as young as preschool. And currently, we are serving all the way up to first grade. But slowly, inshallah, you know, we'll see we're growing, alhamdulillah. And we are you know, not going to cap ourselves. We're going to see what the future holds. Now, some of the priorities we have at News Arc, the very first thing, the biggest priority we have is the thing that we see on the top. And everything below it, it builds up to that. The number one priority we have at News Arc is to have the young children have a deep spiritual connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Messenger Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I wanted to share with you all a quote by Imam Malik, rahimullah. A beautiful quote. Imam Malik, he says, As sunnatun nabi, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ke Safina. It is the 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 blessings, the the Sunnah of Nuh Alayhi the of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It is like the ship of Nuh Alayhi Salatu Wasallam. Man raki baha naja. Whoever holds on to it is able to be saved. Wa man taqallaf anha gharak. And whoever is not able to, then they, you know, they they drown. But our 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 philosophy at News Ark is that the children that are able to develop that deep spiritual connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His beloved Messenger, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now over the next few slides, inshallah, I'll be going through them quickly, is that we are going to be focusing on some of the um, key highlights of our program, right? Some of the key highlights, what makes us unique? So the very first thing, alhamdulillah, is the tarbiyah aspect of it, right? At News Arc, this is a key component of what we wish to do. You know, have that tarbiyah. And we do this, we facilitate this through a small class size, alhamdulillah. And we are able to instill this good adab, this good akhlaq, and have those age-appropriate conversations and tarbiyah for our students. The second thing that we pride ourselves with at News Arc is the daily Qur'an and Sirah circle. Every single time, and we're going to see a video of what a typical day looks like of a student at News Arc and the curriculum that they go through. But every single day our students, they begin with a circle, a circle time, in which they're able to have and learn about the seerah of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam. And after that we have a Qur'an circle, in which they're able to you know, learn portions of the Qur'an, focusing on good tajweed and good makharij through experienced, teacher, experienced teachers. Next we have center time. I don't have time unfortunately Unfortunately, to go through what each of these um, skills are, but center, our center time is what children they like to consider free play. But at News Arc, everything we do is with a purpose, right? Every single one of the free play that the children they do, all the fun that they have, there is dedicate, there is there's thought behind it, right? There is a purpose with what they are doing. The children they're able to enjoy themselves, but our hope 
is that all of the children, they are growing in some of these developmental skills, especially for the younger children, right? So that when they're able to grow, they're able to be productive citizens in society at large. Another thing that we pride ourselves at News Arc is having this weekly ranch day, right? Alhamdulillah, we were able to partner with a local ranch here in the East Bay, and we were able to offer our students instruction on a ranch, right? And this is something the students, they love, because they're able to learn about the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They're able to learn signs, but we connect it back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they're able to get reverence, or reverence, and awe of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and His creations. And we're able to build that connection from a young age about making sure that all of the miracles, all of the science that they see, it stems back and connects back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the favorite things of all the students is that at News Arc, we pride ourselves, we are able to facilitate and give all of our students healthy halal lunches. We provide the meals for all of our students, and this is something that, you know, the students, they look forward to, and it is a great burden relief for all, a lot of parents, right? They can just send their children, and they, they know that their students are going to be well-fed, and they're going to be given nutritious halal, uh, halal food. For students who aren't able to necessarily join us for the full day program, we offer instruction to kids who choose to maybe perhaps go enroll in a public full-time school or a private full-time school as in our enrichment program, right? We offer daily classes from 3.30 to 5 p.m. so that students who might be associated with another program, they're able to join and at least have some of that Islamic tarbiyah, have some of that Islamic setting, and ultimately, you know, have that suhbah, that suhba, right? Have that Islamic companionship with other like-minded brothers and sisters of their age. Summer camps is another thing that News Arc we really enjoy, you know, hosting. This is an opportunity for students who may be in school for our students to come and learn about a different theme of Islam, right? Some previous summer camps they have included things such as, you know, a Hajj camp, right? Prophetic stories camp, a a uh, an aqidah through science camp, a science camp, and multiple other things, right? Um, these camps they run for about two weeks at a time, and they have a specific theme. And through this specific theme, the students are able to learn these different sciences, but more importantly, they're able to gain that suhbah, that, suhba, that, subha, that, suhba, that companionship with other like-minded families and students of their age. And finally, donation, right? Alhamdulillah, at News Arc, one of the biggest things that we wish to do is increase barakah in our program, increase blessings in our program. And one thing we do in order to try and facilitate for that, to foster that more, is that every single, for every single one of our students that we have at News Arc, we sponsor a child overseas. We sponsor a child overseas, especially those who are much more needy, right? So that they are also able to have that gift of education. They're able to join in on the fruit, the ni'mah, the blessing of education alongside many of our students. Now, last thing before we head to the video, what is next, right? What is next? Alhamdulillah, we started just a few years ago, but we have reached, you know, near capacity. And we do have hopes to expand, inshallah, right? We are in the works, you know, we're looking at different um, programs, the different facilities to see what we can do to expand, inshallah. So we ask that you stay tuned, bi'idhnillahi wa ta'ala, and we'll see that what it is that, you know, we're excited to see what the future holds, quite honestly. Um, and we're really excited to serve the, per serve the community which is the largest need that there is. So inshallah, before I conclude, um, Brother Manir, there's a video which kind of shows what a typical day looks like for a student at News Arc and the corresponding curriculum that is associated with it, inshallah. So, bismillah, uh, we'll go ahead and watch that right now. Lowercase d, right? What sound does the letter d make? 
So let's see what do 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 words are inside. Ah, this bucket. Ooh. What's this? Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Do you hear the do sound? Di 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 dinosaur. Don't